distance between two points in the plane exact answers. So calculate the distance between the points K, which we can see here, okay, is at negative 6, 0, and G, which is at negative 1, 6. Okay, now we do have the graph here that we can kind of use as a visual. There's my two points. Okay, the coordinates of k are at negative 6, 0, and the points of, or the coordinates of g up here are negative 1, comma 6. Okay, now when you have a picture or a graph like this, you can do this um, using just Pythagorean theorem, which is what the distance formula is based off of. Okay. So if I go ahead and draw in a right triangle here, this is the distance I want to know, right? The distance connecting, directly connecting the two points. But if I make a right triangle out of this, then I can use Pythagorean theorem. But I need to know what these two legs of the triangle are. So you can see here that this horizontal leg goes from negative 6 over here to negative 1, okay? So I'm looking at the x-coordinates here of my two points. So the distance from negative 1 or between negative 1 and negative 6, right, we can find by just subtracting these two. Okay, so if I do negative 1 minus negative 6, subtracting a negative is the same as adding and negative 1 plus 6 is 5. So I know this distance here is 5. Okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing for this vertical leg. So I know that point, the y coordinate is 6. Okay? And down here at the bottom, the y coordinate is 0. Well, the distance between 0 and 6, again, just subtract them. 6 minus 0 is 6. Okay? And we are just looking at the y-coordinates there. And then I can just use Pythagorean theorem here. Okay? So 5 squared plus 6 squared equals this side squared. Um, I'll go ahead and set that up here. I'm not... Well, I'll even go ahead and work it. So Pythagorean theorem is um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay? Now, I don't want c squared. I just want plain old c, right? This one is a, this one is b, and over here I want just plain old c. So to undo or get rid of that squared, the inverse operation is square rooting, just like addition and subtraction are inverse operations and multiply and divide are inverse operations. To undo squaring something, we square root it. That's the inverse operation. But if I square root this side, I have to square root the other side. So I can get just plain old c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now I'll just substitute in my values. Instead of a, I'm going to put in 5. Instead of b, I'm going to put in 6, and then I need to square root this. Now, they want me to give an exact answer, not a decimal approximation. So I need to just leave this as a square root, okay? I'm going to come up here for a little more room. Okay, so I'm going to have the square root of 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 25 plus 36 is uh, 61, okay? So C is the square root of 61. That's my exact answer. Now, if I didn't have a drawing or a graph to look at, let's say I didn't have any of this, I could just use distance formula to get the same answer. And the distance formula is based off of the Pythagorean theorem, this square root of a squared plus b squared. Well, a, we just subtracted my two x values, right, the negative 6 and negative 1. So the distance formula says to just subtract your x values. 
square it, then add. And to get our B up here, we subtracted the Y value. So I can just plug my numbers into here. So the distance is equal to the square root of, right, uh, subtract the x values, okay? So x of the second point is negative 1 minus x from the first point, or negative 6. Squared, okay? Plus take the y from your second point, or 6, and subtract the y value from your first point, which is 0. And then we're going to square that. Okay, and then we just simplify. We have everything plugged in, now we just simplify. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So that's really the same as negative 1 plus 6. Okay, which would be uh, 5 squared. Okay, negative 1 plus 6 is 5, and then we have to square it. Over here, plus 6 minus 0 is 6 squared. And then you can see we're at exactly the same spot we were over here. So if we just finish it out, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, Okay, and 25 plus 36 is 61. And since they want an exact answer, not a decimal approximation, we're just going to leave it here. And 61 is prime, can't be factored, there's nothing that goes into it, so we just, we can't simplify that radical, we just leave it like that, and that's our answer.